Can you shout vagina right now? Shout. Come on. Shout. Just shout vagina. <laughs> if I'll shout, I think I'll get arrested, bro. Hey. Um, I decided to take you out today. Take me out today? We're going to Camden. Camden? Oh, wow. Uh, where are we going? We're going um, for my laser hair removal appointment. And that's a date. You excited? Somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. Yeah. Really. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so the, the, this is what you call a date? You call this a date? Yes. We going on your hair removal is a date? Yes. But you know what, actually, it's not a bad idea because I think um, Camden is a nice place. So maybe we can make like a small vlog about it and I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, let's get. Yeah, let's get. Let's get out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm running late because of you. You're running late because of me. I've just got to know about this now. And you're running late already? Yes. Can I take, like, can I? Can I wear a jacket and... Less talking and... Come on, let's... Let's go. Oh, lovely, jolly weather again. <laughs> Babes, it's raining. London. Red chata. It's not raining yet, but I did feel a bit of drops coming. The weather was so nice uh, in the morning. It was, like, really sunny, but... It's just... <laughs> drastically changed good okay so Camden 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 what can we show I think Camden is like this like you know for a Delhi who knows about Delhi Camden is like literally like uh, uh, the Sarojini Nagar market of Delhi uh, it's a bit hipster than than Sarojini Nagar but in terms of what you get you know you get like cool stuff uh, at an all right price though Sarojini Nagar is cheaper <laughs> but, but it, it's it's interesting. It's like it's a very hip and happening uh, kind of market. We'll take the tube much faster. That's how a married couple's date looks like, guys. Diary, plastic pockets, double tape, dehumidifier, shower gel. Guys, we've reached a very rainy Camden town. It's a bit dead everywhere, actually. See that queuing system that we have? Like everyone is on the right-hand side, and you know, they just leave the left side really empty. That's a really London thing. So something to learn about everybody, especially uh, people from Delhi, <laughs> where I am from. It's bloody pouring down now. Yeah, bloody hell. hell. So yeah, what we'll do is probably Silva is going to go uh, on her um, hair appointment. Yeah, her hair removal appointment. appointment so she saw that out and uh, we'll pray that um, the weather would kind of become fine after that so I'll show you uh, a bit more uh, of uh, this beautiful place uh, in London uh, so stay tuned much better than the outside 3,000 years later all right guys uh, Shiva's appointment has finished finally the weather is absolutely rubbish, like literally rubbish. I think I want a t-shirt from this London. Which one? Like London t-shirt. Why I don't have one? Because you're in London. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, people who, are, who live in London, they, I don't think they, they have a t-shirt saying that we're in London. Look at that guys, just look at that dragon man. Ain't that cool? 
the restaurant. Oh yeah, all you can eat for 880. So eight around 900 rupees, you can eat whatever you like. That's not a bad deal. So that's where I got my tattoo done from actually. That shop there. I know. Do you remember? Yeah. Like their food court is literally to die for. Like every type of food. Uh, this is my favorite area to come in. What is it? Mexican. Uh, you got waffles, uh, donuts. So that's like the entry of the market. But they've changed quite a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that before. So you got spring rolls and stuff. Is that right? Got spring rolls. Thank you. Look at the food there. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, you didn't leave it. Here you go. Have a look, guys. Crispy chicken. Uh, T-shirts. Oh, that's beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? I think they've refurbed it a bit. Mm -hmm. it, it used to be, before it kind of used to be really raw, like now they've kind of, I think, um, given them better spaces. It wasn't like that before. Yeah, so that's like, this is the internal market. Uh, so you get all the crafts and uh, like modern art and everything and whatnot. You literally get everything in this uh, kind of place, isn't it? What do you think? Do you like it? That's my favorite place in the world. It's your favorite place in the world, Camden? Mm -hmm. But it's for different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that, guys. Look at this area. Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Let me make a B-roll of this. Hold on. It is like you're, you're like two years old or something. Yeah, that looks uh, a bit mental. <laughs> well, that's Camden. That, that's Camden for you. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Scary. Yeah, it kind of does look a bit freaky because they're like very big children here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Vegetarian vegans, Camden is the place. Like they've got the coolest stuff uh, for vegans. Uh, uh, North London in general actually has uh, some really good places where vegetarians can eat. Um, look at this, guys. It's called Babaji's. Look how cool is that? Always in it. But this place used to have like a really small store. Do you remember? They used to have a small store uh, behind the market. And uh, I think they're doing really well. Uh, Bangra Burgers. That's funny, man. Crazy Lamb Gel Frazy Burger. Cheeky Tikka. Chicken burger, just a plain G. Naga Delhi double burger. So they do like junk food, but with like an Indian twist to it. But I don't know. I think I I prefer my burger to be like normal. Like Indian food inside a burger. So crazy. You can feel the vibe around this area. It's a good time because I can vlog a little bit um, better than you know as compared to when it's like really really crowded. It's just food, food, food everywhere here. Is that the place in the cyber dog? Guys, that's uh, Cyberdog. It's like the freakiest, freakiest kind of place uh, of Camden. Not the ordinary conventional shop you'll be going in. Jesus, look at this guy, man. It's like the robot from the from the future. Look at his eyes, man. His eyes are bloody doing a thing as well. <laughs> It's like a nightclub, um, aka cosme like cosmetic clothing shop. You've know, you got the DJ there, that's your DJ booth there. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks absolutely sick. Oh, <laughs> so guys, that was Cyberdog. 
uh, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> our little tour one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is uh, filming is not allowed at all there <laughs> I think we had to like literally go in and out like BAM things I do for you guys yeah don't be complaining to Cyberdog though yeah we're not we're not like we don't say anything bad about them they're really really good they're really cool you know what I've heard there is a vagina museum here like the world's first vagina museum shall we go there yeah let's go shall we check yeah because guys yeah I don't think we've got anything else to show you so maybe we're thinking of uh, going to uh, this weird kind of it's, it's like the world's first vagina museum 120 yard is like one minute from here mm. we can ask the security guy it's awkward because you can't even ask for directions <laughs> like <laughs> could you guide me to the vagina museum please can you shout vagina right now shout come on shout just shout vagina <laughs> hey, if I'll shout I think I'll get arrested bro <laughs> I don't know, it has to be somewhere there. I hope it's not like a very teeny tiny museum. It is, it's just one room. Oh really? Yes. Oh. Oh, there it is. I can't believe there's a place like that. out before they ejaculate. It's a common misconception that if a partner with a penis uses a withdrawal method before climax that this means no sperm has been left in the vagina. It can be a common occurrence in certain individuals to release some ejaculate before they even begin to climax and many who rely on the withdrawal method often uh, do not withdraw in time. Statistics show 100 people attempting to use this as a method of contraception 22 have had unintended pregnancy uh, that was a interesting fact so that was uh, the vagina museum guys uh, thank you so much uh, the people at the vagina museum they were so so lovely and kind uh, to let us film there uh, I was a bit hesitant <laughs> to ask uh, but they were really really sweet see it's oh, you, 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 see, you see what it is it's, it's awkward and it shouldn't be awkward and I think that's why uh, things like these uh, should come up more and more I think it's actually a very good place for guys, us guys, to go as well. What do you think? I think it's actually f mainly for guys because uh, I think females are kind of aware about uh, everything they need to know about their body. Oh, well, but I think vagina, so, they are aware. so they are aware. But I think it's the guys. There's so many misconceptions. I mean, I saw so many things that I never knew. Um, you know, there were common myths that were there, and. Uh, they got busted today definitely like so many preconceived notions we have about certain things it was it was worth uh, uh, the visit definitely so yeah guys if you're in North London if you're in Camden uh, do make sure uh, you visit uh, the vagina museum you know I'm not scared now saying vagina vagina it's not awkward it is weird didn't say that in the street <laughs> but uh, but I'll write uh, the description below uh, how to reach if you're in Camden you should find it anyways really easy it's a little bit inside, but uh, I think if you'll ask anybody, yeah, you can easily find it. You've got Google Maps, so you can easily uh, search for it. Whenever we come to Camden, this Witherspoons uh, is our uh, most favorite kind of place because it's like just next to this nice waters. Um, look at this, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so, guys, on that note, uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's uh, uh, vlog. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, more fascinating vlogs like these uh, would be coming shortly. Uh, so one more time, thank you so much. And it is Ardios from Camden Town. Bye. Bye. Come on, man, I'm starving, bro. <laughs>